Well, you guys were down. Uh, you've been down the last couple of games and get the comeback win. What did you see from your team in, in the third period to be able to come back? Yeah, we, we were very competitive. We, we competed. We, we won battles. We kept a lot of pressure on them by putting pucks behind them. We put a lot of pucks to the net. So we had a, we had a really good period. We stuck to it, and guys, guys really stepped up. We saw a pretty big crowd today, uh, definitely more energy in the building. Do you think that, that fed into the team a little bit? Yeah, it was a great crowd and great energy, and the, the guys definitely felt it and helped us in the third. Go ahead. Second time in a row, uh, two games in a row, you guys have had to come back to tie the game in the third period and then win it in overtime. What's that like with the team's resiliency, having to score these late goals these last few games? Yeah, we, we stuck with it. You know, we, we didn't try to, try to do too much. We, we stuck with our game plan. As I talked about, we tried to grind it. You know, we, we knew we had to be better in the trenches, and we were a lot better in the trenches today. Sammy, you, Sammy was obviously pretty good in this game. What have you seen from him? And getting a chance to play with TJ now, uh, definitely seems like he's a little more confident. Yeah, they, they were really good today. You know, that whole line with Berkey, Sammy, and TJ, they, they controlled play. They, they made plays. They... Um, you know, obviously the, the results, Sammy scored, TJ scored, and I think each one of them had a goal and two assists. So that's it's a heck of an effort by them. What did you think about <clears throat> Lucas Parikh making his AHL debut tonight? Kind of an you know, unfortunate circumstance, though. Yeah, I know he stepped in, and it, it's, it's really neat when you see a young player that comes in and gets his first AHL game, and he gets a win out of it. So really happy for Lucas, and you know he's put in good work this year, and he's, he keeps getting better and better. We talked a bunch on the broadcast about Jordan Spence tonight, and obviously he scores his first, but it seemed like he was just doing a lot more, and, and it seems like he's more confident. Yeah, Spence had a lot of jump tonight. You know, you, you could see him dancing on the blue line. He made some really good plays on five on five, finding the shot lane, you know, on the, on the power play goal like he did, and he put it in the perfect spot as well. He had, a, he had a really good hockey game, and you can see him. He's improving and getting better and better every game. Last thing for me, uh, we, we saw a lot of the Gabriel Velarde, Quentin Byfield. They seem like they're playing very well together, poised with the puck a little bit more. Is, are you seeing things like that from them? Yeah, I, I think one of the areas that uh, they need to be really good in is their puck protection. And I thought today Gabe and QB did a great job protecting pucks. They brought pucks to the front. They, they, they both had really good hockey games.